Welcome to my second video on coloring fractals like the Mandelbrot set. We'll start by recapping many illustrations, including all I have made so far. The color you see is solely dependent on the number of iterations it took to calculate them, using what's called an escape time algorithm. However, that is not the only way to color the Mandelbrot set. The background you see an animation showing the effect of the number of iterations on the image uh, with a black and white palette and four different ways of distributing said palette. Now let's have a look at different palettes and different color distributions. Here you see a color palette with a linear distribution. As you can see you can't actually see most of the palette because it's all squeezed near the edge of the Mandelbrot. That is why usually other nonlinear methods like roots or logarithms are used. Now let's have a look at what the same methods look like when used with a different palette. And for that, we go first back to linear color scheme and change the palette. It looks completely different, doesn't it? Now let's have a look at logarithmic distribution and again what it looks like if I change the palette. This is by the way the same palette as used in the last image. Now back to linear distribution and see what it looks like when we compare this after zooming in. That's linear distribution. This is a root 1.5 and the square root. No alternate palette unfortunately, but we do have for the logarithmic distribution. And that should be it for the classic escape time algorithm. So let's zoom out again and move to something new. The first one I would like to present to you has been colored according to the face and value of the result of the last calculation. Blue represents the value, green positive angles and red negative angles. This image uses the HSV color scheme with hue representing the angle and saturation and value change with the value of the result. Next one also uses the number of iterations which is represented in red. The value is represented in and the angle in green. And now to something special, which actually only shows the value. However, it does so using the palette invented for the escape time algorithm. Now, I can't leave you with this quite psychedelic image, so let's have a look at a mini board directly comparing all distribution schemes used so far. That's it for this time and let's see you in the future.